Can you help me? This desperate plea from a young woman on the steps of the Salvation Army officer's home in 1890 led to the creation of a rescue home for women in Winnipeg's North End. This was the humble beginning of Grace General Hospital in Winnipeg. The demand for services was overwhelming. The Army responded to the challenge by relocating to a more spacious setting on Young Street. Maternity care was soon added to the services provided. In 1904, the rescue home was incorporated as the Salvation Army Grace Hospital, the first of its kind in Canada. Two years later, the School of Nursing was established in time for the opening of a brand new freestanding structure at the corner of Preston Avenue and Arlington Street. Modern equipment and services were added to a new wing in 1927. These changes prompted the Salvation Army to move beyond the provision of maternity care and establish a true general hospital. Program innovations such as an organized volunteer auxiliary and Canada's first ever candy stripers allowed the hospital to flourish. In the mid-1960s, the Salvation Army again responded to increased demand for health care in Winnipeg by constructing a new state-of-the-art facility on the current St. James site. Opened in 1967 and expanded upon in the early 1990s with the addition of the West Wing, Grace General Hospital continues as a shining example of the Salvation Army's commitment to the health and well-being of our community. The Grace is not only a trusted acute care facility, but also part of the rich fabric of faith-based health care in Winnipeg. We celebrate excellence in program areas that include surgery, mental health, medicine, emergency, and critical care. In January of 2004, the doors to Grace Hospice opened to residents and their families. This 12-bed palliative care facility represents a new era in health care at the Grace. Built with love and the overwhelming support of the community, Grace Hospice reflects the Salvation Army's commitment to the whole person, body, mind, and spirit, and to the value in all our lives through all of our days. As we begin our second century serving all who enter, we will continue to listen and respond to the needs of those we serve. We look forward to the next 100 years. God grant that Christ may walk these halls today. God grant he moves within these rooms at night, heeding the cry of hurt hearts as they pray, bringing them out of darkness into light. Come, Lord, abide within this sacred place and meet each need with thy unfailing grace. Amen. Amen.